what you need to know is that the altitudes of a triangle intersect at a point that is called the orthocenter. O-R-T-H-O-C-E-N-T-E-R. -E -E that's theorem 5.9. Here's a little bit of extra information for you. It's not something that I'm going to test you on, but it's always good to know. Where the altitudes meet, or where they intersect, there are other sides called the foot of the perpendicular, or the plural's feet. Meaning, we can extend the other sides as well. We can take a look at our other altitudes. Where these altitudes intersect the sides, so it points D, E, and F. Those are the feet of our perpendiculars. And that's the first bullet point. Next, we can connect the three feet. And when that happens, we get what's called the orthic triangle. So let's go ahead, we're going to draw line segments in between the three feet. We're going to connect D to E, E to F, D to F. Thus, triangle D, E, F, the red triangle that you see, Let's get rid of the altitude so we don't get confused. There we go. It's called the orthic triangle. Well, something interesting happens. Let's bring the altitudes back real briefly. And we know they intersect at the orthocenter, G. The orthocenter, G, is actually the in-center of the orthic triangle. What this means is that G is the center of the inscribed circle. Here on your screen you have the inscribed circle to triangle DEF. Remember inscribed just means it just touches the sides, doesn't pass through them. G is the center of that circle. The orthocenter is the in center of the orthic triangle. Again, all of this is just extra information. What I want you to know above all else is that the altitudes of a triangle intersect at the orthocenter.